the reason I have these pieces of tape on my eyes is because when I go out um, I like my makeup to look quite neat I like it to be really kind of defining and I like to define my eyes and make them quite into a cat shape so I don't remember who I took this from I think it was S Walker makeup I don't go like I start it underneath my eye because <clears throat> I like the underneath of my eye to be smoky and if I start it too close to my um, natural eye kind of liner where I put my eyeliner then it just looks wrong so I take it down a little bit so it meets with the smokiness under the eyes so I'm just going to get started I've already done my base and I put on my moisturiser but not a lot because I don't want it to kind of be too many layers on my skin and then I used the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Anti-Shine Mattifying Primer and then I used Estee Lauder Double Wear um, if you see my foundations video you'll know that I don't like to wear this in the daytime I like to wear this in the nighttime because it's really good coverage and it stays the whole time on my eyes I used my Estee Lauder pot it looks like that just to prime my lids <clears throat> and I put some black gel liner in my eye and I used the ink sleek ink eyeliner gel pot in dominatrix that again I always use I'm kind of winging this, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I know that I'm doing a sort of um, liner, smoky look. If you've seen my um, Christmas guide video, I just made a pan of colours that I think I would like. So I'm using the lightest kind of bone colour. I'm placing this all over my eye and to the top. And I'm using a fluffy brush. I don't actually have a really good matte brown. Um, so I think I'm going to get one very soon. But I'm going to use Harmony as my, not my face contour yet, but as my eye contour. Because it just is the perfect kind of contour colour. So I'm taking it on a pencil brush. And what this sellotape does is it just creates the most gorgeous straight line so even if you make a mistake and you go out it doesn't really do a lot so I'm placing this in my outer V like that and I'm using it in a kind of point shape so it just kind of goes like a cat. And then taking my 217, which is dirty, and blending again. It doesn't have to be too neat at this stage. We're just kind of basing everything using natural colours. And I'm just using my fluffy brush again to blend. And I really want to build this brown up, so. I want to blend and add more colour, blend and add more colour. So I'm just taking Buck from my Naked palette with my pencil brush again and going in again to the outer V section of my eye. I hope you can see this. If I look a little bit yellow, I apologise, it's because it's quite late. So the two blending brush I'm brushes I'm using are the 217 and then this fluffy brush from my Academy of Freelance Makeup set and um, this one's a lot this one's a lot more fluffy and then this is more dense so I'm kind of going in with the dense to blend out the sort of middle colours and then using the fluffy for the outer edges now I want to obviously smoke this out a little bit more so I'm going to take Print Eyeshadow by MAC because I want this to go, go in stages. I don't want to go too dark too quickly. And I'm just tapping for the excess in print. And I'm going again into my outer V with this, but not as far. Really join it to your end of your eye. If any of you are wondering, I've strained my hair. So look out for my nighttime outfit for the day. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet, so I've just kind of pinned it back. Again, blend the shadows. 
Um, I'm not a makeup artist, I always say this, but um, this is kind of like how I like to do my makeup when I go out. And I do like to do sort of cat shapes. My makeup in the day is sort of more rounded. But when I go out I like to um I like for it to look quite you know, cat. I think it suits my eye shape. I'm taking my fluffy brush again. Um like so. Look, as you can see I've gone out a lot and it's not gonna do anything because um, you're not going to be able to see it. Um, please don't take your eyeshadow too far up to your brow. Um, I can't tell you the number of girls I've seen do that. And for an editorial kind of look, I mean, it's different, but for night time I think that looks terrible. Um, that's why I think when you're starting out with makeup, go for things that are a lot more simple to do. And then, um, teach yourself first these smoky eye looks in your bedroom when you're bored or something um, instead of starting out and going all out at night I'm just taking Carbon by MAC um, mine's hit pan because I dropped it I'm going to go in my V but I'm not even going to flick it out this time so I'm just going in like I'm not going to go too far out at all I want the most concentration of colour to be right in this corner here and I want it to be really light here because that is the sort of effect that makes your eyes look a lot bigger. I said you can use these techniques and use any colours you like so you don't have to be limiting yourself to what I'm using. Just use whatever you have. It's really easy to find a black and a brown and a light brown eyeshadow, whatever make you have. So what I've done is really light colour all over the crease, then medium sort of brown kind of contour colour to outline my crease and then make it cat eye go out a little bit more then another sort of more warmed coloured brown which was bark then a grey and I've taken that out a little bit further and now the black I really want to concentrate it here the brushes get dirty don't be afraid to go onto other brushes so I have this kind of angled brush um, I'm just going to blend with that because it's clean. Please don't be afraid to use your fingers. And I'm just feathering this out a little bit more. Also, the reason I actually apply my eyeliner first is to give me a sort of template so I know where my lines will sort of start and finish with Shroom. Because all the colours I've used are really matte, I think I can allow myself a little bit of shimmer on my brow bone so I'm just taking it and tapping off the excess also don't be afraid to use your hand as sort of tool to tap off any excess in carbon now again on an angled brush and I'm going to trace the top of my eye line, my liner the top of where I would put my liner I'm also going to flick this so it doesn't have to be too neat because we're going to be blending it out and then taking my black track fluid line so trace along where you've just put your line so I'm taking my carbon again carbon is my trusty eyeshadow for nights out and take your pencil brush and just begin to sort of blend out the harsh line don't go too far, I'd say three quarters of the way now I'm taking Smolder by MAC and I'm going to go underneath my eyes underneath my eye, if you don't like yours dark under there then you can skip this step 
I'm just going to take the tape. This is something reminiscent of what you should have. A really, 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 really straight, beautiful line. A flat top brush. And print. Because I'm going to build up the colour. And I'm going to start from kind of there. Like that. And I'm going to take this, I think, all the way in today. And then I'm going to use concealer. And I'm using select to cover up. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. So I've just applied the Ardell 17 Black. And look at the difference. This is obviously the one with the lashes, and this is the eye without. So I'm just going to put the other one on. Using Harmony by MAC. So suck in your cheeks and do the ridiculous fish face. And do a C motion across your temples, so like near the hairline. with Estee Lauder Double Wear you really do need to add some colour back to your face and then I'm using Well Dressed by MAC which is just a cool toned pink again on the same brush you don't need to go and take new brushes and I'm putting this kind of on the apples do the ridiculous smiley face I don't put this too close to my face because I think it just accentuates your pores. For my lips I'm using Hue by MAC, which is dying. <laughs> because my eyes are quite dark I don't want the attention to be my on my lips, so I'm going for a really nude. And it is my favourite lip colour. And again, because Estee Lauder is mattifying, I'm going to use the tiny, tiniest bit of pearl cream colour base on my finger to highlight my cheekbones. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this, but it gives a really nice, subtle shine. I don't know if you can see. So this is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. I think it's nice without being a little bit too much because I didn't want to use really bold colours. I think this is a really good look that you can use for New Year's, Christmas parties, whatever you're doing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video where I'm doing my night out um, kind of outfit. So have a good week everybody and I'll see you all soon. Bye.